what's up what's up everybody what's happening uh in this video so we're live uh i don't expect to have too many uh f live followers right now so we're gonna probably jump right into it because it's memorial day happy memorial day thank you everyone uh, so we're gonna jump into it we're gonna break down the normal tickers that i break down talk about this week uh, and then i'll turn to the chat and see if there's anything anybody wants me to break down and give my opinion on uh but let's get into it let's talk about why we think this uh I think we're going crazy this week. Make sure the uh, <laughs> everybody's notified. We're good to go. Let's go. What do you guys think? You guys ready for this? This could be guys. We're gonna give this just two seconds. That's your watch. That's a recording. Fast forward like a minute. We're going. What are we on? Natural gas. Uh, I actually swung you guys shares. I was thinking high or low, but now I'm kind of like, uh, is this a bear flag? Uh, so I actually uh, got in short. Uh, short the contracts, which I think are actually down right now. So uh, let me check that. Once this loads, we'll, we'll, we're down. We need to pick one. Going up, we're going down. Down two ticks. Uh, if that breaks the upside, we're going to switch gears. We'll be back in my original plan. It just kind of looked, yeah, I was thinking maybe high or low, but then I started thinking, man, is this a bear flag? Are we holding this? We're starting to base out and show that balance, which I'll say this a couple times in the stream. If you bought the course, the trading suite, there is four new videos. One being uploaded literally right now. Uh, two in the options course. It's the final two, I think, for that, for a good chunk. Um, and then two in supply and demand, one already live, one going to be live soon. Um, and whether you trade options or not, watch the volatility one. It kind of explains probably why you've been losing so much and how easy it is for you to lose so much. How almost crazy it is to be in the stock market with your uh, imaginary 1% stop loss. I'm going to risk one to make five. Um, why that's almost a losing strategy. It almost contradicts what I do. Given my experience, I'm a little bit better at finding things. Uh, but for most people on here, you'll probably see why most people tag out watching those videos. But after that, let's, uh, I'm just going to watch this. I don't have a stop set because the future's open. I did not do a good to cancel. So I do need to watch my natural gas contract. We're going to actually... Uh, Scoot that down a bit. Why did that not ask me to save? What is this nonsense? All right, let's move that down here. Boom. There we go. First things first. Uh, if you clicked on this for the thumbnail and you watched that as a recording, I'm going to go over the dollar, gold, oil, uh, oil and gas, gas, biotech. Then we'll get into the Qs and the market itself. Uh, the Russell, then the Qs, then the S&P. Let's talk about where we're going to go this week and why we might see some uh, something might hit all-time highs. Uh, dollar. What's the dollar doing? Ooh, dollar strength or what? Not any Forex positions right now. I want to be. Hmm. Just purchased the options course. Uh, sort of understand theory, but curious to hear more about your current options contracts in play. Uh, right now, I have a uh, an in out spread on Amazon, and and then just some naked plays, which I kind of went over in um, last video. Kind of risky. You have to understand options at, and all their Greeks and how they actually work and move uh, to kind of understand the ones I'm in are risky. If you catch the right move, they do pay out. Uh, before we get into it, let's. <laughs> there were two comments in, in the last video. Now, one, I got to speak slow for the guy because I don't think he fully grasped. Yeah, here we go. He said, <laughs> Now, if you're watching, is this a good speed for you? I'll tone it down. I'll slow it down. 
so that you can pick up what I'm talking about. He said, it's easy to show all these prophets. Oh, they're all so great. And they are. I, I didn't lose. He said, how come you didn't talk about the trade before? I went, I'm talking too fast. How come you didn't talk about the trade before you were in it? And I did. I announced to the chat, this is what I'm in. I don't do it to copy, but I wanted someone to kind of understand and follow. I did not do this as a follow suit, but I did it as a, I can show you guys how fast these things can move. And one thing I talk about with my mentor group, there's two sides to every coin, which we will get into at the next conversation. So the only reason this says positive $15 is because I had a limit buy. My limit buy right there was $32, so $3,200 is times 100 and it just happened to be at 15 bucks. That's it, just because just, just it filled. So I posted it in the chat, and I said, this is the one I'm in now. And we talked about it. We even joked back and forth about how I should lock it in because it's up 15 but because I don't like to just lock in nothing, you never go broke locking in profits, you'll probably never get rich, uh, which there's an argument there. I, uh, I trail things, right? I, it was just a joke. And then an hour later, see how it's the same one? There's that 32, Phil. Did I lose you? I'll go back. 952, hey guys, I'm in this. 1114, hey guys, I'm still in this. It's been about an hour, and I'm up. Now, if you're lost, wait till this is, you know, you can rewind it, play back, hit the three little dots, hit the settings, play at half the speed. You should catch on. I got faith in you. You made it to YouTube. I think someone's got you there. Um, this one right here. The other comment. Very true. So this guy... Uh, I don't know, we're not calling him a hater anymore, I'm just not going to mock him or make fun of him. The other guy, I hope you understand, I am 1,000% making fun of you. I can only dump things down so much. Uh, so he said, everyone posts these Tesla and Amazon profits all the time, but no one ever posts their, their losses. Now, I haven't taken a loss yet. Uh, yet. But this one was a loss. Pay attention. And not in a condescending way. See how this says, today's return, I'm up $1,100. I bought this, right? I thought there was going to be a breakout, and then we saw that sell-off at the end of the day. This one was actually down $700 uh, at the end of the day. I just swung it into the next day, and then it was up. I was still right. I was a little early. We caught that sell-off, um, and 100% I was just ready for it. I wasn't worried. I thought about adding on, but decided, nah, I don't want to risk too much, so I'll just leave it there. Uh, so, yes, you are very right. Um, while it's easy to show all these profits, if I was wrong, I'd show you a wrong trade but this is the closest I got to it, was I was actually down 700 bucks. And so yes, these things can move fast. If you're just jumping in here, trying to be a millionaire tomorrow, you're gonna get bit. <laughs> I'm lost, can you show it 20 more times? Uh, all right, so uh, yeah, just to be very clear, um, that one could have been a loss. You're short U.S. cat right now, so you're short the U.S. dollar. Uh, I kind of want to agree with you. We're just on the top side of this right here, and I just don't know about that. We are still range bound. Nothing's broken. I'm trying to see if we can even tighten this range up a bit. Are we starting to squeeze anything at all? Yeah. We're dead center. Basically, this is a this is a coin toss to me. You know, are we going up? Are we going down? We're right here at a point where we could do that. I would like to be short. I think showing a little more dollar weakness. You know what? Let's check out the chart. Let's see if we can't get any more from the euro side. Uh, so dollar weakness. We'd go long this. Yeah, you know what? That looks like a good spot. So, live trade, live, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get in here, I'm gonna put my stop loss just so you guys can see what my trade actually looks like right here. Mm, I'm gonna put it right here. That's gonna be my full trade right now. Where's that line at? Right below that wick. That's what I'm literally about to put in right now. I'm gonna go long the USD right now, so kind of look for that, uh, that dollar uh, weakness. Maybe some Euro strength. Yo, boss, were you watching me while I slept? 
I did not sleep last night. Uh, let's buy. So we're gonna go long Euro USD. Alright, stop loss just below that wick. It's actually 31 pips away. My exact stop loss 1.08672. Take profit. 1.11. We're going up here. Uh, in case anything crazy happens, that's actually 230 pips away. Uh, no, we're right here. 190 pips away. 195. We'll put it right there at the 200 pip profit. Boom. And we are filled. We're good to go. Last night was my day off. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I'm thinking dollar weakness. I still want to keep an eye out for this range. So, here we are. I want to so what I'm saying right now. Basically, I took a bet saying we just sold off for tests from the bottom. Uh, either way, we haven't broken out of this range. We're still range bound for now. So gold, gold was actually going very sideways right here, and we just kind of broke up with this last little spot right here. Oh, by the way, I, I'm not used to reminding everybody. Um, if you are a YouTube member, uh, those links actually show up in the community tab. So like last week's homework and uh, the ticker breakdown. Uh, YouTube hasn't done it to where it automatically notifies you. I actually just post it in the community section that the YouTube members can see. Uh, so for gold, I think it'd be bullish gold. Ugh, maybe. Dollar weakness usually brings up gold. If markets are going to push up and everything's fine, we might see gold sell off. It's holding that right there, though. Um, I have to stick with the charts, and I'd have to just say... That looks kind of bullish. If you could just ninja snipe this, if you could just get one more solid entry in this purple zone, that'd be sweet. It would've been cool to catch one of these wicks because you'd still be up. All these plays for naked calls? Yeah, Danny, those were. Uh, and I just like it because Amazon can move half a percent. And if you can get the entries right, it'll move those contracts a lot. Just because Amazon's so expensive, such a, a high price ticker. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to say bearish. Until that really breaks. That's a pretty clear, I don't, I don't take trend plays, you guys know that, but we have a very short-term trend down. It's like, which trend is going to be your friend? Because someone's probably got this on here and they're calling it a dip buy right now. Um, so I'd probably wait and see where that, it's just not 100% clear for me to tell right now. I'd wait for that to break. If I'm looking to trade gold right now, like gold futures or anything like that, I'd be bullish above this yellow, bearish below this purple, and I'd probably let it dance around right now until things got clear. The miners, we got a good day up, pushed up, sold off. This would probably follow suit. Now you'd be looking for this to break right here actually. I'd probably be almost more tempted to buy uh, like JDST. Hang on a second, right there. Short term, I think we can get a better dip buy on, on gold. But it's had a pretty solid run for sure. Oil. 
though. Oil looks bullish. Cruising. What are you guys using to trade oil now? Now that uh, USO, well, it's not delisted, but USO pretty much isn't an oil ETF anymore. Do you guys see that on their website? Uh, we did gap. Looks like we're about to break above this. As long as if we got above this, I'd say we're, we're pretty bullish for a little bit. So I, I, I wouldn't trade A lot of stock people are probably thinking gap fill, they're running for that. I think what I would probably do with this one is I'd probably just pump the brakes a little bit on the uh, on the oil plays. We get into there, I'm thinking probably a, a continuation. We could do anything. This, I would just trade as we don't know what's going to happen. Follow the current trend. UCO, C okay, SCO. Mini oil is what, QM? I think so. QM, I'll check it right now. But I think TradeStation uses these, uh, the, the pit tickers, QMM20. Yeah, QM M20. How much is that one? Still a five thousand uh, dollar contract. Should we get one? I think I'm gonna wait. When we break above this, I might actually grab one of those contracts. Might be wide stops, use a limit buy. Yeah, on, on those menus, you have to use a limit buy for sure. Uh, I would be using this to trade gush though. Breaking above that, I would just trade that whole zone. If you're looking at gush right now, get in here and I'd set my alert and I'd stop out below there um, yeah just got pretty bullish on that so that's how I'd trade that natural gas still kind of hanging out like I said I'm in you guys shares over the weekend uh, I just jumped in short as far as these contracts go I'll let that break out That's a tough one. Bullish above, bearish below is kind of how it trades. Break above this, I think we'll probably at least head up. So your next spot to really worry about would be right here. And getting below that, going to be right here. Yeah, I think you can wait for that too. I'd probably have an alert set right here. Let's say we do sell off. Have your alert set on like, I would draw this trend line. I grab, went to the daily and just grabbed the, the daily candle bodies. I'd have my alert here just so I can kind of watch it and see maybe if we do get an early bounce, maybe a higher low right there. Biotech uh, up. So we, we drew this last zone out right here. It did come down, grab it, and, and pushed up. I bet that will continue and will gap up. So I bet LABU will be rocking tomorrow. I did not take that trade though. So the uh, 52. Probably will be in it though. Um, went for a wild ride in LABU, tagged out, uh, just trailed it and, and it tagged out and I never got back in. But it does look like something I want to uh, be in. 
Russell right now. Uh, so Friday we had the sell off. Boom. Tagged that weird yellow box and it's been up, up, and away. Red candle right here around this zone right here. So we had our first one. Got eh, still pretty bullish candle. This red one right here. Pushed up first red candle again inside this zone. Let's get to what we're talking about. I'm looking for a break above that, and then we head into here. Getting into the queues. All time highs coming in hot. So Friday was fun, right? Friday we had the sell off. It looked like it was going to be like a nothing day, but then it just kind of continued to, to sell off. Anyway, we tagged this. Futures were open. Futures still climbed up. And then today, we got a little bit of a climb. And then we open back up, and we are, you can kind of say that's selling off. Nothing I'd be too worried about. In fact, as long as we stay, if we pull back right to here, that'd be perfect. If we could just pull back right to here, hang out, go sideways, uh, push up. I'm still pretty bullish on this. So I think the, uh, the Q's, to get at all-time highs, we just have to cover that much ground right here. We got to grab the wick, but I do want to grab this uh, this top area right here. That's where we'll start to see sellers come out. Uh, so I want to watch to see what kind of news gets released right here in this zone. By the way, I'll start tightening up my stops right now. But after that, we're cruising all time highs. Don't worry about it. Market's fine. They're wearing a mask. You know how much it costs that to make that mask? And how much they paid for it? Alright, it's revenue. I don't know what excuse they want to use, but uh, uh if you're still hanging on to fundamentals, we've been we've been approaching this for a while. It'd be interesting to see. So as long as we stay above this, I am still bullish. If it breaks this zone right here, I want to see where we sell off. Uh, if I jump in short, it might be intraday. Um, but if I do jump in short, I'll probably have my alert set around this area right here for the cues. And I won't be catching any knives just yet. I'll wait for it to base out. So when I say catch a knife, like I'll be watching this now. I get in positions all day long. Bright red candle. I don't wait for it to stop. I just get in. Uh, but I trade the same stuff over and over again. I kind of know where the buyers are at. That, not to say that I'm never wrong, but that's just what I do, right? And I tell everyone, you know, Stay in your lane. If it's not catching knives, you want to wait for it to base out or confirm it, do that. Because what's how it's going to affect you psychologically is probably by far way more important. So when it comes down to here, I probably will wait to see if there's any kind of buyers right here. Maybe go sideways or it just starts to bounce and then I'll get in and put my stop right below. Close my short on ES there, 30 bucks. Nice. How do you identify the bearish below bullish above zone? Oh, they're just regular zones, but when we're hanging out and really going sideways and when there's like a fight right there, at that point, it's uh, I'm waiting for it to break to take that position. You close your short here now. What time frame are you on? Why are you closing your short? If I was short, I'd still be trailing this. So what we opened up, hold right here. Uh, so as far as the S&P goes, watching right there. Do we have anything back here to justify that? Let's go. Let's break above that. Tag me out. Okay. Move my tag every 10 bucks. Okay, so you're actually just trailing it. Like an actual trail. Can you guys do me a solid? One, subscribe if you're not. Two, hit the thumbs up button. And then three, let me know in the comments, live or not. You bullish or bearish right now? You ready to go? What's the SPS? 
SPX expected move. Uh, maybe. If your trade platform rhymes with POS, you get what you paid for. Uh, I know we got a million expirations, but what is this Friday? 29th. So we got a $71, so huh, we'll blow that out of the water. Uh, this is $71 for the SPX. So we got 710 for spy QQQs. We got 629. Let's chart that out. Spy that puts us right at 303. Yeah, right around this mark. Expected move. So we could stay in these parameters right here and be fine. Do yeah, and we'll just rough it out there. Here's our current price. So we hang out inside here, probably just fine. So this tells us again, like I went over in our uh, in the option, the Amazon options and shares. I actually went over options, kind of going over that. Uh, this tells you where you're going to be at for the week. Sorry, let's bring that back right here. Right, so we can actually do this. We can do just this. I mean, we can do a whole multitude of just a boring week. Friday, we rip up. Uh, we can just really scream up and come back down and go sideways like we did last week. There's a million. We can do all that to the downside. Bearish, watch out for the snap below and come in right back. Or watch out so when this breaks, yeah, we might just hang along this. We might come back. We might just stay. This is like the market makers are giving these these parameters. Hey, as long as we stay inside here, we're good. We start cracking outside of it. Now we have to start hedging against it and taking care of our positions because we didn't think it was going to move that far. And that's when you get the wicked rides up or down. When you break that, because then you can just double that. Uh, so instead of $7, now $14. It would be a $15 move with, with some change in there. So 285, that actually puts us at 280. Puts us right down here. What's that, 302? It's 39, 310-ish right here. So that's two standard deviations. 95% chance we stay inside here this next week. 68% chance we stay right inside here, or at least close right inside here. How can they guess what it's going to move? It is actually based off the next 30 days options contracts is actually what that's based off of. So that's where everyone has their positions on the board. The people that can move the market. What were the Qs? $6, is that right? Qs, 630. Six dollar, huh? Ah, dang it! I was gonna say, for some reason, I think that's all time. I was like, we're gonna blow out of the water. We talking about? Ah, uh, six thirty puts us right here. Just how crazy would that be? One standard deviation. If we just push up and hang, that leaves us with the fifty-fifty over the weekend of a double top. Here, here comes the narrative. 
uh, where's the 29 right here so we add our, our six bucks to that 30 cents right here now because there's two sides to every coin that puts us right here at this well this zone right here so we pull back into this zone yes for me that is a buy or it's a bullish week we push up right here now if it's anything like last week well you know anything can happen right it's always up or down next to, next candle is going to be green or red we'll push up to here we scream up we might go sideways and just pull right back i thought last week we could get weird because we had that amazing run up and it looked like this is it we're letting them loose here we go then we just went sideways and boring uh, so I want to see it break this, and I think that's when all the news talks about it, and I want to get all the attention back in here in the stock market. Get above this, and we're rocking and rolling. If it busts that top going fat long <laughs> on QQQ, one video long. Let's go. Bullish, weed, bearish, TLT. Okay. On lows. Something about lows. About June 5th, 125 calls in April. Like 30 to 40 each. Ripping this week. Yeah, there we go. You guys are bullish. How many of you guys are watching live right now? Because YouTube over here is messing me up. It says one. IWM. Uh, yeah, we just went over that. Oh, you want to know the uh, expected move for IW? Russell. What a good guy. Spoke to him the other day. 583. So, six bucks. Put you right at like, oh, I'm just shy of 141. Jasmine 94 watching well that's way more than what YouTube says I didn't think uh, I didn't think everyone would be here how was your weekend let's kill it. let's get on with the uh, the stream post your tickers up let's break some stuff down for you guys uh, while I have you guys here I said this in the beginning uh, if you bought the course uh, the, the trading suite uh, two new videos went up on the options side uh, about volatility. Whether you trade stocks or don't watch options or anything like that, still a pretty good one for you to watch. Uh, and then it should be up right now. It might not be. I might have to actually click publish. It'll go live after it. But I'm uploading. One's already live and another one in the uh, supply and demand section. I did go over natural gas. Natural gas is kind of right in that zone. So I'm waiting for this to actually break right now right here that's kind of a tough one and and so like my mindset right now i was in you guys over the weekend uh it was a decision i made pretty late friday thinking maybe this is a, a high or low um, and then right now i'm actually short the contracts it kind of does look short right now one of those will be loser i will take a loss in one of these i think give away <laughs> give away a free day for 100 likes uh, if there is 100 likes on this by the time we end it, I have no idea how many there will be, so I can't extend the time or play nice. But if there is 100 likes by the time I end the stream, I will post the uh, the mentor stream, the Zoom link in the free chat tonight. Okay, let's go. Um, uh, before I lose all your tickers, I saw... I did cover natural gas. Don't let me, don't let me lose your tickers. MTB... Oh, we got a break here. Yeah, MDB's running wild right now. While I'm pretty bullish the market, 
Man, a pullback would be really sweet for this one, though. We really left it in the dust right about here. So if I could catch a pullback right to there, that'd be great. This one, I'd kind of be really picky on my entry um, because it's just been moving up. You know, I could even dabble uh, kind of how I'd watch this one. Let's make this yellow. Picture perfect. I'd love to get an entry in, in there. But let's say the thing's running, stock market's hot, everyone's on fire. Then I kind of want to, like, I would settle for, like, a pullback right to there and a, and a push up. Trend is up. Everything's looking good. It's just, you know, where is where's the moon? Everyone's thinking this is going to the moon. When did they get on and where are they plan on getting off? Strength in numbers game, I want to be there with all the buyers. And I don't want to get on as soon as everybody's getting off. Dollar Tree. That's not a dollar. Um, yeah, really, all the sellers have been right here. Kind of looking right here. I think it'll struggle getting right there. If I was already in it, I'd probably even tighten up my stop right here. Watch it hit this and then see how it interacts with this level. The reason I would tighten my stop up is because if it breaks out below, while the trend is still up, I can just take some free money, right? So tag out, get back in at a higher low. Maybe it tags the top of this. Uh, I wouldn't be too picky saying I'm only going to get in if a pullback tags this zone. In fact, I probably have my alert set right around the uh, eh, probably 81.30 mark. And uh, I'll watch it either go into that zone or start to turn around and make like a higher low, kind of like right here. Uh, that at that point, I would I would get in. But with earnings coming up, if that's right, fact check that trading view has been wrong. Um, maybe a run up into earnings at that point, I can just play an hourly trend and just let it go, and I can just trail off the last hourly candle. But I would still be pretty bullish on this for now. But I would keep an eye out for this area right here. Pepsi, if it's going to be bullish, needs to break this. Bullish or bearish, you know where your stops need to be. Here and here, right below this wick. Uh, I'd, yeah, I'd probably get, once it breaks the 131 mark, maybe we're bullish. Right now, I have to say, yeah, it's range bound. I can't even, like your current baby trend is down, but we've been range bound for a while. Like, do you want to just hop on short just for it to turn around and kind of stay in this range? Uh, in fact, I guess if anything, I'd probably be bullish on this. I'd be bullish. I'd take the bullish position. I'd stop out below that wick. Tesla thoughts uh, to the moon. Uh, I appreciate Tesla hanging in there for a while while I gather some shares. Um, I'm up right now, but <laughs> uh, something I joke around with the chat. I've managed to buy Tesla at almost every one of these peaks um, intraday. I'll lock in some options contracts. I think I did one right here, and it, yeah. No, I need a green candle. Is it right, 8, 818? Yeah, 818, and it just sold off the rest of the day. Uh, it's been pretty fun. I think my average, I think right now, what am I in? I think it's 811-ish, 812. No, I added some more on, so I think it's like 815. As far as my average goes, that's an investment thing, so I plan on staying in it uh, unless something serious happens, something really breaks. But we are really hanging out and going sideways. I'd I'd be bullish though. If I'm trading it though, I would really kind of be worried about. I don't want that to break, and it needs to get above. Needs to get above this right here. Getting above that, we'll probably just go right into, not right into the zone, so we're not whole accounting right when that happens. But, you know, I would assume our next stop would be somewhere in that vicinity. But I kind of need that trend to not break. Uh, love. 
have hit that so off. I'd be careful on this one. This one does not look the best. Oh, Southwest Airlines. But Warren sold everything. Why would you buy it? Warren Buffett, he sold them all. Who's buying this? And did you hear Warren Buffett sold it? Did you hear Warren Buffett sold all the airlines? Who heard? Who here heard Warren Buffett sold the airlines? $50 billion loss, did you guys hear? Maybe you've been on YouTube or it's... Maybe someone you know has been on YouTube and saw the 9 million videos and people talking about how Warren Buffett sold this. All of them. How many airlines get called out? I see Boeing, Delta Airlines. I'm going to say that on every one of them. Uh, right now, it would be bullish to at least broke this zone. We're still a trend still trending down that's still a lower high um, unless you want to really just talk about this this trend keeping it alive uh, if I was bullish and, and I was just my final straw right there at 2755 who's Warren Buffett <laughs> I don't know some old guy I think he buys stocks <laughs> uh, I get the catalyst behind it I really do but it cracks me up how many traders will talk about what Warren does knowing full well that Warren makes fun of them for gambling and their styles are wildly different um, what we got pins and BLX Pinterest um we are not breaking out of this. So we hit that, rejected. Where are we really fighting this right now? So it looks like there's any back and forth that's kind of like right inside here for now. And we just bounced right off the gap down to it, bounced up. Well, that's a Man. If, so if you're bearish, right, you've got your your low, your lower high, your lower low, your lower high, you're probably looking for a lower low in that trend to continue. Uh, if you're bullish, you ignored that and that being a, a break of that. You really want that to break. Um, you know, I wouldn't be bullish in this if I've actually even gotten into this zone. Getting below that $18 mark, at that point, I probably am going to assume that trend down sells off a little bit deeper. And me personally, I probably wouldn't worry too much about it until we were down, probably down here in this area. My $15 mark. NBLX, bullish above, bearish below. We're really hanging out in that zone. And I would have been watching this zone, even from that right there hang out and go sideways. This looks like a cheap... Mm. I would definitely have this on the map. That'll just be a resistance. Once that breaks, you'll have, I don't know how many buyers are going to say, you know, gap fill. I don't know how popular that one is. If I was bullish because I thought that was the trend, uh, my stop loss is right there, 780. EA Disney. Long, long, short, long. Okay, so we got EA. I think these got called out a few times. Electronic Arts. Uh, so all the sellers have been right here. So if that candle shifted and started anytime sooner, that would just be a wick. It pushed up, came right back down, just like this wick pushed up, came right back down. We've had a bunch of sellers here. Looks like. Uh, you're in luck if you were bullish. I would be bullish on this. I'd probably give this one a little bit more wiggle room. I'd be buying here. My stop would be below this wick right here. So 116.40 is probably where my stop would be at. I'd be looking for it to actually break and get up. We have not actually broken and closing above that zone. So I'd be looking for the break above that. Disney. Yeah, let's go. I would be bullish as long as this holds right here. If we stay above that. We're good there. TTWO, you are short. Uh, what was earnings? Good or bad? 
good. Uh, I wouldn't be short this. Uh, if I was short, yeah, I wouldn't want it breaking above that 140. Definitely 142, and I'd be out. I wouldn't be short that anymore. Uh, I personally would be rather look for the uh, the dip buy right inside here, actually. Is that? Yeah, you would, as soon as we got above that, that'd been bullish for me. Found some sellers, came right back just to confirm that. That zone that I drew off of this right here, that I did not see this, but happens to line up. Coincidence? You tell me. Uh, let's get rid of some of these drawings, though. Make trading view happy. Uh, TWLO, I'd probably be long on to. I would probably rather wait for a good entry, though. Wow, what a monster. Uh, TWLO, picture perfect. If I could just get it to come back down here, that'd be amazing. We got the break up, so I'm just looking for a pullback to confirm it. This one, I'm not going to be picky and wait for a type 2. This is one, like, I feel perfectly fine getting in. Like The reason I take type 1 positions are because I don't know if it's going to hit the type 2, and I want to get in. Um, so it's kind of like the easing the FOMO a little bit. But yeah, any kind of pullback, I'd be looking for the dip buy on that one. I'm going to have to fast forward the chat um, and get back to caught up. If I just missed your uh, your ticker, post it again. National Gaming. Um, looking at this. Yeah, we even struggled right here. So bullish as long as that holds. Yeah, we really, here's a rally base rally. Tried to hold it. We're definitely attracted to this level. So as long as we stayed above it, I'm bullish. Your next <laughs> next zone, you'll find some sellers right there. What do I see? TMO. Do I think ATT will break the 30 mark? Uh, cell phones haven't been doing too good. Uh, armed. Go ahead and post the uh, the arch <laughs> in, the, in the conversation chat so I can grab it real fast. You guys want to see some magic, some voodoo, if armed is still on and listening. KTOV going on third week in it. Savvy finally out of the way. Okay. I thought KTOV had some bad news. That was one I actually liked, and then I ended up looking something up, and I saw some bad news or something. Maybe I'm crazy. I can't speak to it, so. Uh, but I did like that one. T's going cloud. Okay. I'd say dip buy on this one. This one would be looking good for me. Let me find it. Armed, that's your computer background. That's your screensaver. Don't try to play it off. U.S. launch of new drug this week. Oh, yeah. Get your bulls on. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, I can't believe this got sent to me. Um, Delta Airlines, I do see that. Uh, in case you guys are curious, NIO. <laughs> Upgrade to buy. My dip buy for NIO. Just to bring you that. I'd put a limit order right here. <laughs> because I don't like that company. All right, what's NIO actually? At? Upgraded to a buy. If I were to actually trade NIO, I need to at least get above this area right here. At that point, get inside here, sideways up. I can put my stop below. <laughs> All right, on to the, uh, the voodoo. Uh, because I said I don't think cell phones are doing very good. Verizon. 
Look at the candles. <laughs> this is what I drew when the candles were right here. I talked about this because I didn't like I don't like this arch pattern where they just kind of like curve and kind of sell off. It doesn't really show any weakness. And then so far it's all it's done. So I think until I think it was like that for one on both on a lot of uh, cell phone stuff it was like that. I just wasn't too bullish. But I think it'll break the thirty dollar mark. It had to at least uh, if it gets above thirty fifteen, maybe it needs to get up there and close though. D A L. Okay, so D A L. Delta Airlines, still plenty of sellers right here. Um, you know, I like this enough that I would buy Delta Airlines right here if it did hit that again. Uh, maybe. Plenty of buyers. Got close, found some buyers. Really based out. So it's like how many buyers were here? How many are still here? You know, as far as zone freshness goes this one I probably would kind of worry about that I still like this lower zone though for some buyers enough that I'd wait to see this again I wouldn't just jump in on the first bright red candle into that oh yeah speaking of which NIO is a China company do you think about that with China stuff being kind of uh, on the radar being de not delisted but taken off our, our markets I'd be careful with that I know I skipped some tickers, um, especially because it's my fault because I went into other tickers. One more time, could you post that? Post yours and we'll get it get rocking. Facebook, man, I was in Facebook and uh, locked it in. I needed it, I was in a uh, Facebook call and Amazon call and with those two, with their powers combined, I bought another Tesla share for free. But I wish I would've held on to Facebook a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm not bullish as long as that that holds. Is Saba a ticker? A pullback into that would be perfect. Sciences. Ooh, that does not look good. Uh, what, did they invent the Rona? 95% advertising revenue on Facebook, just saying. 95% what? Did they cut 95% Alice? <laughs> Google said they're cutting 50%. Uh, I mean, I'm watching this right here. Probably not a ticker I would want to be in, but enough that if I was gonna gamble this, maybe get in here and stop out 180. Uh, McDonald's I'd probably wait break above this we're probably bullish even getting into that we're probably bullish because we went sideways so we know the sellers are here we know buyers have been here I'd wait for one of those to, to finally give in that game of tug of war so breaking either into one of these zones you might see like we get up here you might see the sellers with their final breath and maybe try one more time to get down in here uh, getting into one of these zones would probably be your first sign that we're going to head that way and then ultimately the breakouts so, like once we broke this, I'd probably be bullish. If we broke this, I'd be bearish. Their revenue down, but stock at all-time highs. I'm not buying that. Yeah, at all. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Looking at the charts, though. So if you're looking at fundamentals on Facebook, you probably think it's scary because of fundamentals, right? <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about the fundamentals real quick. The economy's in shambles. Let's go back to Facebook. Let's say fundamentals all of a sudden did mean something. And it is bad. It'd break below that. At that point, yeah, switch gears. You'd be bearish. Um, yeah, someone's going to question high or low right here. Let's say it does sell off. Get in here. You would have already tagged out. Are you going to get back in here now? Because you already tagged out, you get to make that decision and watch it bounce. Or if it's just a drop based drop, we head down to here. But I wouldn't be bearish until that broke. 
Facebook upgraded their marketplace. Bind KTOV, yes, you got it. Um, bind Beyond Meat. Someone at the store today was talking about this, like, who hasn't heard of Beyond Meat? And blah, blah, blah. He just loved it. When it almost instinctively maybe wanted to chime in, so I'm get that rabbit food out of here. 100% no idea who the guy was. It would have been just really rude. Uh, but because I made so many jokes about it, like I almost naturally just ruined both of our days. But I'm watching that right there. Uh, and my stop would be 132.85. And I would stop out, and what I would do on this one, like if I was bullish, took a bullish position inside this zone 132.85 I'd stop out and I would babysit it and really kind of watch it and see if it's going to bounce here again and then uh, maybe get back in someone in the shopping line thought Elon Musk was a YouTuber <laughs> she said no he's just really famous on Twitter SEC loves him they were his number one fan Who was it that has um, Elon Musk's old number and had no idea how to ask their mom, old cell phone number, and like ask their mom who Elon Musk was? I was like, wow. Kind of makes you really think about like knowledge that's so common to us because we're just watching this and then you hear someone else that just does not care, or does not know to know or anything like that. Uh, definitely it's weird. KTOV. So you think this is going to ride some good news up? So we've just hung out right here. We've really just kind of watched these this level right here. Like we gapped into it and tried to bounce, gapped down, bounced again, got below it, pushed back up again. Finally, we're like, okay, no, we're actually bearish. We're headed down. Hit it, sold off. Uh, we tried to push up. What did we do? We gapped up, sold off, gapped up, sold off, gapped down, sold off, with another gap up and sell off. I'd be watching this level. If you think it's good news coming out this week, they're gonna release a drug. Hopefully it's good. I'd be in here, I'd stop out below that wick though. So if it was shorting it bad, but it's gone now. Okay. Then let's go. I'll put a couple hundred dollars in that. It's worth maybe. Maybe a little more. Work. Uh, this zone made right here, but we're on the top side of that, so I am bullish. We did gap up, we came back down. I'd still be bullish. Uh, breaking below this line right here would be my sign that it's time to, time to get out. And let's do Baba real quick. I do have to get going. It is time for the uh, homework assignment for the mentor group. Uh, and if you are a YouTube member, uh, that gets posted to you. I don't know what that's doing, but that's worthless. Uh, again, check the uh, community tab. And you see those links in there. If you remember, it's, it's available only to you, so check that tab. Uh, but YouTube is making it to where I can upload a video and it automatically notifies you. Uh, right now, I have to post that link in the, uh, again, the community tab. AMD, I'd be bullish on. As long as this, as long as we don't sell off overnight and everything's crazy, we gap up in the morning, it'll probably gap up. Then maybe, let's say AMD gaps up into here, sells off morning sell off tags that zone that would probably tag me in I'd be bullish stop out here and push up Baba uh, again be careful with the Chinese stuff if we're even going to be able to trade this um, looks like I'd still be short that was a, an aggressive sell off uh, I would still be short bias until it got above that zone I feel like I'm missing somebody's. Do we do Netflix? Okay, Netflix. Ooh, I, enough that I'd probably take the dip buy. Right here and stop out below that wick. I'd like that. Yeah, Friday was just a bad day for some. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off here. 
mentor group homework assignment two minutes and uh, we'll get rolling I did do Disney Disney looks like it's pretty bullish no indicators no no indicators did I do Boeing I know that was called out Boeing but but Warren I want to do it again. Um, okay, since it's a holiday and we're in such good and, and we are such good friends, you should allow the masses into the stream tonight. If we get 80 likes, what do you think, buddy old pal? Uh, how many likes are we at right now? Warren has underperformed the market the last 10 years. Uh, I don't mean to laugh at that, but uh, I did do AT&T and I do Moderna. Oh, hold on. Oh, brought it back. Where are we on? Boeing? Uh, we're at 78. Yeah, two more likes. Two more likes, and I'll post it um, in the free chat. The free Discord chat. The the Zoom leak. Boeing. So this zone still makes sense, as in I'd still buy it. But breaking below this, even getting it, like right now that needs to be the dip buy. You want to keep this trend alive. So while this one does still make sense, my confidence in this, you know, really turning around in this zone definitely goes down a bit once we actually break some of these, these higher lows right here in the shorter term trend. Uh, so I'd be careful with that. Still be bullish. 87 now. Boom. All right, let's go. Um, give me about 25-ish minutes, 30 minutes, and there will be a uh, the Zoom link. I'm going to do the homework assignment, uh, Amazon for the uh, the group. and um, So I'll post the Zoom link for you guys in the, uh, in the free chat. All the links are in the description. Um, as far as the, the sale goes, I am not going out. I'm, I was going to actually talk about this in the beginning. As far as the suite goes, I uploaded four videos. Some of you guys, if you guys thought I was kidding when I said I'm going to raise the price every video I upload, I'm actually not going to raise the price uh, until Wednesday. That was going to be my Memorial Day sale. I meant to actually say that sooner. Um, so I'm going to upload a few more videos. Uh, other than that, I'm not, I'm not kidding. It, that is the sale. Its price right now is on sale uh, because once it's done, it will be significantly more. That's the, the full suite. So I will see you guys in, uh, in just a few minutes.